You know, he, he has his goal to, to, to be a bodybuilder. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind, one day he's gonna win a championship. He's gonna win a bodybuilding show. 100%, whatever this kid puts his mind to, he gets it done. I'll start from the beginning with Kyle. Kyle uh, was born as a preemie. He was uh, six weeks early, about six pounds, six ounces. And Kyle was born with Down syndrome and multiple holes in his heart. So we had to uh, beat Kyle up before he could get uh, open heart surgery. They send him home and they say he may turn blue and you're like, oh, that's pretty scary. By the time he was about uh, nine months old, he had open heart surgery done. The next step for him was, you know, learning how to use his fine motor skills because kids with Down syndrome typically have issues with their muscle and being able to uh, work with their muscle and get them stronger and their fine motor skills. Joe 04. 124? Yeah. Nice. I had to book out the only thing to say who I really am. Okay, uh, ready? Front double five. Nice, nice. Your favorite side chest. We had him in soccer and in baseball and in dance classes and gymnastics. Like, he, he's such an active kid and I wanted him to find his passion. And little did I know uh, his passion would be working out in the basement with me at the age of seven. I shall look at um, six, seven, and I said by Bob, yeah, nine, ten. I first met Kyle when he was 11. One thing I will say about Kyle that stands out for me and everybody else is his work ethic. This guy, he works three jobs. He trains like it's nobody's business. He uses the gym for his outlet. When he's in martial arts, he's a red belt, black stripe in martial arts. When he's doing his martial arts and his karate, it's almost like Down syndrome doesn't exist at that point in time. He's just all around good, kind hearted soul, you know? And my life is better because of him, no question. Kyle um, has many, many goals. Kyle wants to achieve his black belt. I think he's one or two away from that. Modeling is definitely on his top priority. I see him constantly uh, doing his modeling poses in the mirror, trying to get that perfect shot. My goal was to have a girlfriend and get married or have like, um, anything in my life. At the age of 10, Kyle, you know, being as active as he was and running around with his three cousins thought it would be a great idea to hop a six foot fence. As he landed, I guess the way he landed, he cracked his femur and we didn't know he had a cracked femur. The kid walked around for six weeks with a cracked femur. Seeing him not being able to do the things he loved and having those things removed from his life was hard. It was hard on him mentally, spiritually, and physically. I don't know anybody who could walk around with a broken femur for six weeks. So when they did uh, call me and said, the kid has a broken femur, you got, you got to rush him over to sick kids. They're waiting for him. He's set up for emergency surgery. We got him over there right away. They did a phenomenal job at sick kids. And they said, we're not really sure what type of recovery he'll have. Boy, he recovered. He recovered. And from there, he went right into karate. Kyle have a secret talent? Yeah, Kyle, he does have a secret talent. Kyle is a superhero. So Kyle um, is going to be taking over for Batman when Batman retires. One day, I, I remember Kyle coming home 
from school and telling me that uh, he was definitely a hero at school. He had to use his superpowers that one of the, uh, the young kids in his class, they were in the gym by themselves and uh, this young man had uh, a seizure and Kyle knew what to do. He knew that he needed to go get an adult. He ran as fast as he could and he called it, got the teacher and said, you need to call 911. So-and-so is having a seizure. They ran back in and they helped him. And he said, I'm a superhero. I saved this boy's life. Kyle's biggest inspiration? I would say one of his biggest inspiration emphatically is mom. No question about it, he's a mama's boy. Kyle is extremely loving to everyone he meets. Empathetic, thoughtful, courteous, and he's just so genuine. My mom, huh? My mom, pretty and beautiful, and beautiful smile, give me all features I like. Ashing, making ashing, chocolate, cookie, Plenty and give me like a um, free chef I like. The toughest moments I have with Kyle are um, for me personally when he, <clears throat> sorry man, sometimes he'll tell us, he'll say that he's going to pray to God and that it takes Down syndrome away from him. That's that's hard. That's hard on me. It's, it, it, it's it's hard to it's hard to process. It's a hard thing to go to go through. Is you know he he weight weight trains and when he's training and working out, he says he wants to be different. I would never change anything about Kyle. Kyle has a gift. You know he has a gift, and immediately when you're in his presence, you know you know what that gift is. You know how great he is and how special he is. And, Love the guy, man. The one, what I hope the message is, is that it doesn't matter what is going on in your life. It doesn't matter what you perceive as being a disability or what obstacles you have. If he can do it, you can do it. And the whole purpose is, is to help others in our scenario and his situation to let them know that you too, you can do anything you want to do. Do not hesitate to have them follow their dreams or to initiate physical activity for them. Anybody can do some sort of physical exercise and working out has changed his life in such a positive way. The trajectory of how this has changed him is multifaceted. He is physically so strong, capable, confident, healthier and with the physical activity came making sure that he ate healthy he slept better his mind was better he's smarter from it he's socially more confident in the gym and, and talking to everybody overall it's been a phenomenal experience and i think uh, everybody should do it and not hesitate to take uh, their kids whether they have a disability or not, and, and introduce them and see what happens. One of his biggest bodybuilding inspirations, Ronnie Coleman. Loves Ronnie Coleman. Absolutely worships Ronnie Coleman. I would say Nick Walker, one of his biggest inspirations. Nick Walker's from New York. Kyle wants to be in New York. He loves Nick Walker. For MMA, he's all about Johnny Bones Jones and George St. Pierre. I think his sisters inspire him, as well as his dogs, Murphy Murray. He loves those boys. You know, he, he has his goal to, to, to be a bodybuilder. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind, one day he's gonna win a championship. He's gonna, he's gonna win a bodybuilding show. He's, he's the future, he's a beast. What are, your, what are your dreams in life? What are your goals? My dream of cold. Uh, I'm booking my dream. My dream was have kids one day. Uh, yeah, I'll be a good father.